Kunalan Swagata felicitate our chief guest. Best wishes. Next up, I would like to request our head of department, uh, Dr. Anandita Chatterjee, ma'am, to please come on stage and address the hall. Distinguished guests, the participants, and my dear students. So it's a privilege to come and stand here. You know, it's always an honor. I feel overwhelmed because this is the first student seminar that we are organizing from the Department of English. So a very warm greetings to all the participants. You know, we have been asking everybody, please participate, please participate. I have almost called everybody and driven them mad. And I am thankful to all the audience present here today. I actually want to applaud you all. Because you know, it takes a, a, to make a program work, it requires participation. I'm glad that you all have turned up to cheer for your friends, to inspire them, to encourage them. Next year, we want to see all the first years come up and take the lead from where we are on the lead you all today. So, first of all, I would like to thank the principal sir for letting us organize this. I'm absolutely grateful to the great guests of the day. IQAC coordinator, he has left a message that he couldn't be here with us, but he has wished us all the best for the day. I am absolutely grateful to Dr. Ghosh our TCS, our dear, dear Shopunda for raising the occasion and making it so special for you all. It's always an honor, it's always a privilege to have him amongst us. He's always encouraged us with his wise words of wisdom. I want to convey my gratitude to each and everyone who has made this world. You know, we see that advertisement in the television which says, Dar ke aage jeet hai, and you heard about the word dar, jeet. So fear, you know, triggers many responses crisis, it talks about flight, it talks about fight, and it talks about combat, you know, it talks about freezing. So there are a lot of negative energies that are generated with the word crisis. But you see it in history, you see it in literature, that crisis, it might, you know, temporarily bog us down, but we don't get, you know, completely overwhelmed by it. As post-pandemic children, you will know how to, you know, combat crisis. You have all overcome crisis in your own way. You know, with the, as you were waiting for the vaccines, many of you were thinking, you know, what can I do to overcome this? And that, you know, made us realize so many latent talents that we all had within us. Many of us didn't even know that we could cook, we could dance, we could sing. And you see it historically also, you've seen Wordsworth, you've seen Keats, you've seen Rabindranath Tagore, how they have overcome crisis. You know, our sweetest songs are those that tell of science thoughts. So everything painful can be creatively transmuted. Creativity is therapeutic. But I haven't spent my all my study years talking about creativity and madness. You know, studying creativity and madness, I always feel nothing negative can take you. You know, take that energy out of you, that positivity out of you. It's all inside you to make it you know, positive, you know, it's, it's it's something I would like to say, it's a personal journey because me and NC, you know, we were all bogged down by the pandemic and sitting in our isolated homes, we decided to publish a book. And RD sir has also been doing it, also Shomrita Madam has also been doing it. We all have, all of us have been trying to combat it in our own way. So this is what makes us all come together today. And I think this is a big occasion to discuss about this. How creativity, how crisis is not the end of it, how creatively we can transfer our crisis, how we can win over crisis creatively by making it a very positive way, a positive response to the negative challenges that life puts us through. So I want to welcome you one, once again. I hope this is going to be an enriching seminar. We have paper presentation, we have a PowerPoint presentation from the students. They have all come up. This is the first time for many of them. I wish you all, you know, just encourage them, inspire them. And I, there might be, you know, technical calls, there might be issues, but I just wish you all the very best. Uh, this is also important. The department is going to bring up a newsletter. So the first issue of the newsletter will come up. For this, you know, we need to keep an archive of all the events that we are organizing from the department. And this is one of the many 
sense that we need to do it in the, in the coming days. So I want a wholehearted participation. I want you all to be there intellectually, you know, meaningfully and engage yourself, feel inspired and encourage your friends because this is the first time for all of us. Thank you and welcome you all. Uh, Zogapur Government College to please address the house. Really good morning. Uh, our uh, distinguished uh, faculties of the Department of English, uh, head of the department particularly, but I've seen through the, that uh, many teachers are not present, only uh, the Department of English. And the uh, most interesting thing is that uh, the hall is completely filled up with the students participating. This is very uh, interesting in the sense that whenever we go in the higher studies and participate in any uh, national or international seminar, you will see that uh, when your presentation or Afterwards, the presentation of the uh, candidates are only fill up the hall, and most of the time, others are getting out and enjoying or something else. So, so this is a common experience, a common scenario in most of the cases. But I would like to share one or two things uh, which is not so because I have seen that first of all, English department is going throughout the academic session. A lot of activities. Lot of activities I have heard, I have seen, um, uh, and uh, this is uh, very uh, uh, interesting. And of, of course, it is inspiring to the other departments also, because I have seen uh, throughout the years uh, they are either they are doing some uh, departmental activities or some other seminar. Uh, there is uh, uh, speaker used to come. They bring speakers from outside, from outside uh, university or some uh, institute. So it's a, what I say that it's, it's a continuous, uh, that I, uh, so today the uh, topic is uh, crisis uh, and creativity and cognition. So that means it is a continuous process, crisis, and we know that, uh, that uh, any problems or any necessities is the cause of invention. So if you don't have any necessary or necessities, the events will not occur. So, uh, and we have learnt it in the last couple of years, that is uh, st starting from the pa pandemic uh, uh, throughout the globe, uh, that uh, when uh, it was started uh, in the March uh, 2022, uh, I can experience my, uh, my experience, I can share uh, that it was just like I had been put in the deep water, I, I don't know the, how to swim and all that, because we were habituated with taking the class with chalk and talk. So, all of a sudden, uh, we are asked to uh, take the classes online. And online classes means we have no uh, equipment. Uh, that means without the laptop you have all have. But how to communicate with the students just, just like uh, classroom uh, activities. So, it was most of the time it was not possible and we was, uh, I was particularly struggling at that time because whenever uh, PPT means those who have, uh, uh, today you will present the PPT presentations, that means you have to prepare the writer first of all, then you have to type it in words and then you have to convert it in the PowerPoint presentation. So these are laborious things, studious process because uh, in my cases, I used to start teach physics in the department. So in my cases, uh, if I have a two-hour class, so I hardly take one or two hours per person in the, uh, at all. But in that case, I have to type the two, uh, uh, two hours materials. That means it took uh, three to four hours to type in words, and then it, I have to convert it uh, in, in, the, in the PowerPoint presentation. So for a single class, I had to spend uh, near about five to six hours five to six hours. So this is for one classes. So I started how to uh, how to tackle this problem. So all of a sudden, so I continuously tried, I used to uh, see my go, go through the YouTube 
and many many things and my son in that case said because he used to take, uh, uh, take classes from Fiji and he said that their teachers are doing some something so I uh, I bought a uh, pen tab pen tab means if, if you have a note or if you have a book and if you go through the pen top so it's a very likely as 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 simple as your chalk and talk in the classroom or, or in the blackboard so that means Three to well, two to three months I struggled, and after that I used to very very common. And even and even your cl Google Classroom, you can set up the questions papers and all that. So if now it has become very uh, familiar, it has I am used to very much. You know, sometimes I used to take classes. Not that I am not taking the class in the department, but the extra classes in the Sunday or in the holidays. I used to take online classes, and it is very communicative to the students. So they have uh, mentioned. Um, uh, informed me that it is very communicative and it, it, it creates a, a lot of protest of the students. So that means uh, if you don't have the crisis, if you don't have the problems, if you don't have the necessities, so invention will not come all of a sudden. I can give you one more example. Uh, it was when must be you know that you have passed my school certificate examination that is your Madhyamik and HS. That electron was invented as a particle in the year. Can you remember which year? By Sir J. Thompson, 1897. 1897, and he got the Nobel Prize. And after 30 years. His son, Sir J.P. G. P. Thompson, he <coughs> discovered the reverse, that electron is a wave, and he also got the Nobel Prize. So in, in the case of his son experiment, he was doing some other experiment, and accidentally what happens, accidentally, actually there was a problem in the experimental chamber, and it, due to some accident, the crystal, it was going on, the experiment, it was oxidized and he took out the uh, crystal, uh, total crystal and it baked to remove the oxidized problem. And after that when he put the uh, crystal inside the chamber and the result was drastically different. And conclusion of, was that electron is not a particle, electron is a wave. So look at this. The crisis, here also a crisis because he was not able to perform the experiment soundly because there was a problem. So, this is very natural and creativity, creativity means that it's a continuous process as I said and you have to culture it, 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 have, it has to be a basic habit, in your, you have to uh, bring it in your, uh, that it, it becomes a habit. And how it will be happy? Because, because seminar, to present a seminar or to say something in the uh, seminar uh, is, 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 is not so easy. Because most of the uh, students, even teachers, they think twice if, I, if he or she has to ask, he asks to say something in the class. So it's a common, we cannot hide it, even myself. So, so if you go through this, that means you regularly, that the English department is uh, going to organize regularly the se departmental seminar and you are going to participate in all that. So that fear will be gradually uh, faded out. I can give you guarantee. Because if I have some experience, uh, experience that I organized uh, in the uh, Darjeeling department of English to one national, international, and they are not, you have heard about North Point College of St. Joseph College in uh, Darjeeling. So, in collaboration with that college, and their students used to participate and listen entire the seminar, or entire the talks throughout the day. And later on, their teachers, even their principals, informed me that after that seminar, which was held in Darjeeling 2013 and 14, uh, to, to consecutive year, and uh, they used to organize self, self organize. That means only the department is going to organize departmental seminars there. They started doing seminars with the, uh, among the students and interactions, very, very much interactions, very important. What I started in the beginning that you will see 
that in the case of your higher studies or any presentation, most of the cases, those who are present in the paper will be inside the hall and the others will be outside the hall. So this is not always true. I have seen Professor Laxman, and you can Google it, it's a very scholar person in the case of physics in, the, in India and globally. So I think there was a seven days workshop and I have seen him at dot time at 10 a.m. the seminar yeah. or workshop, the, the presentation was started up to 5, there was a uh, uh, lunch break at 1 hour. So he used to stay and listen all the seminars, all the lectures, whether it is the participants or faculty or some expert, whatever. So that's, that's, that that's makes the difference. Because he is Professor Lakshmanan, we are not there. Because at the age of 70 plus or 75 plus, he is listening all the lectures, irrespective of whether it is participants or faculty or experts. What I see that gives you the confidence that I can hold the same post or they have selected me or they have selected me or they have invited me as a president of the meeting. So this gives you uh, the confidence Whenever you say, as if you must be that, whenever you present it, presentation is good, you first of all you will uh, understand that my presentation was good, so you will be more confident in the next seminar. You will be more confident, and this gives you uh, the confidence. So I won't stretch because a lot of things can be shared, uh, uh, but uh, you have a program, I think, a uh, lot of programs and time uh, time bound there, definitely. So. Uh, Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to say something. Thank you. Thank you. you attend all the talks because you don't know in which talks you will uh, 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 get some inspiration from that. So I won't stay, stretch it so much. And one example I would also like to share that I said that is a continuous process. And because I used to bring all the times the examples of Tagore School. Tagore School is a part of Hovan. Uh, it, it was uh, established in 1901. And there, just a couple of days, maybe uh, one week before, you have seen from the newspaper that all the schools of India or maybe West Bengal, uh, that they are going to incorporate the students' uh, constitution. That means that means uh, the uh, the constitution uh, assembly, which is in the uh, 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 India-wise. That is, you have a, a MLA, MP, or all like that. Similarly, the school children, school children will represent. That means there will be constitution, there will be election. Even I have seen in the school part of one up to class ten, there was a uh, ballot. Uh, ballot poll to represent their representatives and it was counted in the same way as we have uh, seen in the case of your general election in that case. So up to class 6 or 7, there was a, just uh, their representatives were selected, elected by your agency in their hands and after that from class 8 to 10, they used to choose their uh, representative by uh, ballot paper. So through this and even I have seen a class when a uh, meeting that means a uh, Putinidhi Shabha, it is called Putinidhi Shabha, and in that case, the presided or president will be from any class of the hostel, uh, it may be from class 2. And I have seen class 2 students presiding the meeting of the uh, uh, Putinidhi Shabha meeting, and in that case, we teachers are present there, uh, their representatives are present there, and who is presiding? Maybe class 2 student, maybe class 4 student, maybe class 6 student and all that. So with the program, so I would like to have the first competitor for the day. No, this chairperson no only push it. Chairperson no sir and madam. Oh, but a push up, no, that's not push up. Ha, invite for the push. I would like to invite the chairperson for the day, Ramesh sir and Shobhita ma'am. Five minutes. Uh, don't extend it like too much. Um, that's it. And uh, individual representation is mandatory. And 
everyone can like present some uh, present some uh, paper or like a PPT presentation or anything and all the best. So the first competitor for the day is Shahili. I would like to invite her. Shahili, you Today I am Shaili Chakraborty from English Department, Semester 1. I would like to give a short speech on creativity on the face of global pandemic. So from our ancestors or our grandparents, we hear that previously our nature was safe from diseases, pollution and it was completely a fresh nature. But nowadays for our some falls and bad activities like using refrigerators, air conditioner, for the chlorofluorocarbons, we increase the temperature of our atmosphere, the UV is of our atmosphere and for this global warming has been increasing day by day. For these several infections, diseases, pollution are increasing. So we all know, we all have passed from our era and that 2020, the main pandemic which is Corona, we all know that, we all face that era. And it was a worst time of our, of not our, of the whole world. This pandemic bring the whole world under a single roof, and we have a great loss on economic, economic development, and all that. It causes a very bad impact on our whole world. But everything has a good and a bad side too. So. This pandemic is definitely the worst side, but it also has some good side. It created a lot of things, such as we invented our online classes. It's the most important thing. We never thought that we will do our classes on phone by sitting at home, at our home. We will do our class by eating popcorn. It's completely unpredictable, but it has been done by us for this pandemic, and. Several more things that uh, our government has used several floors to purify the Ganga. But every act, every yojana has been paid. But for this quarantine, 79 days of quarantine, the Ganga naturally purifies itself without any act, without, without any yojana. Uh, because Ganga has not been purified. But with this pandemic, with this core, Quarantine, the Ganga revived itself, and not only this, uh, some photographs, uh, some photographers captured some of the scene which was unpredictable or almost next to impossible for them because they captured some of the scenes such as Mumbai city with traffic free. There was zero vehicle on Mumbai city, and not only this, several species of animals such as peacocks were moving on Mumbai street. So it was completely unpredictable. So this type of creativity has been invented during this pandemic and I think it's the best thing. Uh, then many uh, people, many, many lots of people uh, invented various crafts to decorate their home by sitting in their home. So yeah, I think this pandemic has some of the, it's may take a several loss, a several people's death, but it may have some good Things also. Thank you. We are all faced over here. I am Rahul Kumar Saha from the Department of English and Safari, standing before you with my topic on uh, creativity in the face of global pandemic. The virus that gave our ample of time to face in our again. This pandemic of 2020 reminds us about the world's second great pandemic of 1347, the Black Death, which occurred after the plague of Justinian. This Black Death, also known as the Plague of 1500s, sign out 300 million of people's life from this beautiful world. William Shakespeare, one of the well-known pillars of English literature, was also witness this catastrophe. And again, and again after a long decade, in this 21st century, a horrible threat of new virus, the COVID-19, put its paw on the life of the people and ripped out 620 million of people's life from this world. This pandemic brought an instantaneous change in the life of the people. Every day, thousands of people uh, lost their life. Someone losing his or her father or mother, and might be some parents are losing their child. As if the, uh, the, the flood of tears was flowing around the hospital. 
we call this earth as in Hindi that dharti, as if this dharti mata is crying for all for all her sons and daughters. You know, the bait gate was at its peak point, and soon the government imposed lockdowns. The impact of this pandemic are felt differently depending on the status of the people. On the, on the one side, for some people there is no choice but to expose them in, this, uh, in front of this life-taking you know, virus. And for others, they are enjoying this virus as their vacation. They started depending on the online mode. They started communicating uh, in, in screen rather than face to face. You know, the children started homeschooling. The physical mode became the virtual mode. Our home became our office and our home became our school. We know that the human spirit is indomitable. Being locked at home, still people from all over the world came up with new innovative ideas. This pandemic was given us almost two years of time and in these two years, being locked at home, we started thinking beyond our regular work. Then we couldn't before. We started work on our creativity. And from here, the cognition and creativity stand in the queue of pandemic. Whenever we think of creativity, the first and the foremost thing that comes to our mind is that the co-curricular activities. Because on the particular field, we, uh, we get a scope to turn our various imaginative ideas into, uh, into reality that comes to our mind. It can be in the form of acting, maybe in the form of painting, or maybe in the dancing, singing, whatever. According to the cognitive scientist Margaret Borden, creativity can be of two types, historical creativity and psychological creativity. And the psychological creativity played a huge role in the, during those days of pandemic. Psychological creativity means creating something new or innovative, you know, that, that is, which is more beneficial rather surprising to ourselves. And during those pandemic days, many of us unknowingly surprised ourselves with our uh, newfound skills. Many of us got technically developed. Just a few months before, we all have noticed that social media feeds have been flooded with different types of posts related uh, to the creativity. People are posting their uh, video related to dancing, singing, painting that they couldn't do before because of their busy schedule. Maybe some people are showing their quarantine schedule from day to night to the way of their blogging by opening a YouTube channel. You know, uh, many of the working women are there who are fond of cooking and uh, this, this pandemic of two years gave them the time to cook food. They started doing experiments with different types of food items. I think uh, you all are aware of the news that in Kolkata, I think in particular in Jadakur, you know, one uh, sweet shop is there, Hindustan sweets. You know, they, start, they made a sweet, you know, in the shape of the COVID, in the shape of Corona. And these all activities, these all the activities, you know, leads to the positive state of mind. John Case, a famous English actor, a screenwriter, once said that if you want creative workers with their work, give them enough time to play. And yes, this COVID time in this universal pandemic has made it possible. This pandemic has given us almost two years of time so that we can play up with our creativity. These two years of ample time of COVID-19, you no, know, put this word creativity in our mind in such a way that it made us to think about the new innovation, new uh, imagination, new creation. William Shakespeare, the world's greatest dramatist and playwright, was born in 1564, when London was in the state of Black Death. Being in quarantine, he wrote many of his famous plays, many of his famous sonnets. It helps him to bring out his inner feelings and desire. German author Thomas Kenfish once said that man proposes, God disposes. Means we can make any plans we want, but it is God that decides our success and failure. In Hamlet, Shakespeare also stated the same idea using different words. There is a divinity that saves our end, rough in them how Because even a few dozens of hours you know, can change the course of life. Before winter, I will say that this pandemic taught us uh, to challenge ourselves. It made us clear that don't just be artistic, but be creative. We should create our own ideas. We should think positive. We should uh, try to find out our own solution. And we should structure our own ways that surprise us and makes us happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Disrupting our daily activities. 
Lockdowns were imposed. Economics hit rock bottom, and commuting was shut down. All of us were stuck in the most inhospitable terrain of our lives. Nonetheless, there are two sides of a coin. Because coping up with the unprecedented situation may have stimulated our creativity. In a life marred by loneliness and acute crisis, some by creativity and innovation were born. As the saying goes, never waste a good crisis. Well, it is believed that the literary genius Shakespeare produced some of his best works while quarantined during the endemic of 1564. Um, the Bard of Avon not only finished King Lear but also got a head start on Macbeth. According to the Washington Post, in the 1660s, Sir Isaac Newton discovered calculus and formulated his best theory on universal gravitation during the quarantine on the account of the bubonic plague. Exploring creative outlooks in the times of adversity and uncertainty is nothing new. Apart from painting, dance, and singing, the concept of creativity has something more to offer. Unexpectedly, getting a month of Sunday, many of us have amazed ourselves with our newfound ideas and skills. From mixing and matching delicious delicacies to inventing the epic Dalgona coffee, the human spirit is unbeatable in this trying times too. Instead of purchasing masks, people with the basic know-how of sewing have made masks at home, so are sanitizers. Moreover, the enthusiasm was contagious across the world to accept the challenge of creating TikTok videos. But cluttered with creative posts. When the world is dealing with the pandemic, engaging and being immersed in the creative world had reduced many people's anxiety and depression and restored the well being of our mental health. COVID 19 raised an intriguing question whether we are living or just surviving before the pandemic. And we got to reform that uh, today is all we have. One can closely resonate with Charles Dickens that in spite of being the worst of times, pandemic was the best of times as well. We have nothing before us, yet we have everything before us. Thanks so much. I hope everyone will have a good time. I really hope you my name is Shadim, I'm sorry to get things to it, and I'll speak about the topic of creating in the face of global pandemics. So, there it is. In recent times, the people across the world have confronted with the most hazardous pandemic ever been recorded. That is COVID-19. It has given a deep shock to our lives. It has reduced the entire human race to a sense of worthlessness. It not only challenges the public health sectors, but also the societal organizational, economical and personal goals. COVID-19 has bounded every individual between the four walls and marked the disruption of normal activities. Due to these disruptions and restrictions of human movement, it presents an opportunity to uh, psychologists to scrutinize the effect of complete lockdown on individuals. I am in quarantine and before the COVID pandemic, we are struggling a lot to live our normal life. But if we look at these many scholars like William Shakespeare, who not only went down the tragedy of King Lear during the of 1564, but also had a great start on Michael, uh, Anthony, and Cleopatra. On the opposite side, the great mathematician and physicist Sir Isaac Newton, who was quarantined at home in the late 1960s, the account of the Bubonic Plague, discovered the differential and integral calculus. He also completed the theory of universal gravitation and explored the whole of it. The American Psychological Association defines trade theory as the ability to produce or develop marginal theories, techniques, or thoughts. A new study from the Paris Brain Institute at Southern University decided to inspect the effect on creativity during COVID 19 lockdown, where the study's 343 participants said they were more creative during the lockdown than the period before. The researchers presented eight activities during the, during, uh, uh, the uh, during the study, including painting, cooking, sleeping, gardening, writing, and decorating. In these studies, researchers found that the obstacles encountered was very high for individuals who were, uh, who were more creative as well as for those who were lost. Hence, the study shows that more free time was linked to higher creative changes. So now let's look at some of the most successful innovations during the pandemic. 
If you see in India, IIT Bombay based society for innovation and entrepreneurship has developed a combat robotics that has 70% features of a full fledged ventilator. It can be used in a car, an ambulance, or in an office in COVID centers. Students of IIT Kanpur also developed local robotics through which the ventilator will be permanently connected to a mobile phone, which will be used to control the device and uh, display critical information. Uh, it can perform by its own. A Karnataka based company, Cisco, has Develop a cloud physician healthcare system, a tele ICU platform, provide ICU expertise to hospitals that do not have enough ICU specialist doctors. Many grassroots companies supply masks and PPE kit in, uh, in cheapest prices. Singapore has people about social distancing. Some more attractive innovations like driving delivery, ro uh, delivery robots and free door handles, automatic wash basins, has shown its importance. So we have gone through a difficult situation, the situation where we were performing all our daily activities through virtual platforms. Yeah. We have witnessed the three daily waves of virtual platform, uh, COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has impacted people across the world in diverse ways. The pandemic has claimed the lives of millions of people. Some people lost their jobs and some lost their entire family due to the pandemic. But still few groups of people tried their utmost to tackle the worst situation. New innovations during the pandemic sets an example to, uh, for upcoming generations. This will help them to learn about our present. In addition, pandemic has also played an important role uh, in, our, in my life. It has taught me to fight with even bigger problems. It has given me the courage to find the light even in the dark. Rules and regulation imposed uh, on every individual uh, during pandemic helps us to learn about uh, how it is to important to discipline. Now it is a time for global solidarity and support. Only together we can overcome this uh, so the health, social, and economical impacts of the pandemic. Thank you, thank you so much. According to a famous psychologist Alfred Adler, creative self represents the dynamic aspects of human development and is active principle of life. History shows that innovation often thrives during times of crisis. The Black Death was the most fatal pandemic recorded in human history. The trauma of the Black Death gave rise to the most popular artistic phenomenon called the Dance of Death or Dance Macabre. It is an artistic genre of allegory of late Middle Ages on universality of death. This served as a memento mori. A famous painting called Triumph of Death by Peter Bruegel was inspired by this pandemic. Plate constantly appears throughout Shakespeare's work in the form of everyday exclamation like when Leah tells his daughter Godwill a plate showed on embossed carbuncle in my corrupted blood. The Spanish flu Estimated 500 million people were affected globally. This pandemic inspired a search for causes and cures that contributed to medical innovation in World War II and technologies we still use today. The global pandemic of AIDS, began in 1981, is an ongoing worldwide public health issue. The names project AIDS Memorial Quilt, which is the largest community folk art in the world, is inspired by this epidemic. This idea was conceived by an activist, Keith Jones, in 1985. COVID-19 lockdowns may have confined many people to their homes, but when it comes to new ideas, it has left its mark in the field of medicine and vaccines, or a new type of vaccine, as in and they seem to work extremely well. The online education market is set to nearly quadruple between 2019 to 2026. A new study from the Square Paris Trade Institute decided to investigate the effect of first COVID-19 lockdown and on creativity. The study's 343 participants said they were on average more creative during the lockdown. Pandemic literature has offered much in the way of catharsis, ways of processing strong emotion and political commentary on how human beings respond to public health. Homer's Iliad opens with a plague visited upon the Greek camp at Troy. The Decameron by Boccaccio, said during the Black Death, reveals the, Greek, reveals the vital role of storytelling in a time of disaster. Mary Shelley's novel, The Last Man, Said in futuristic Britain, it talks about the life of Lionel Burney, who becomes the last man following a devastating 
global trade. I think it was also made into a movie in 2008. Moving on, Edgar Allan Poe's short story, The Mask of the Red Death, depicts the failure of authority figures to adequately respond to such a disaster. Albert Hamilton's The Fred and Stephen, Hawk, Stephen King's The Stand also deals with pandemic. Now, I would like to show you some relevant images. The, the things I said with the images, they are with references. Moving on, thus it suggests that pandemic did not hinder people from From literature to technology, creativity indeed thrives when people are facing crises such as pandemics. Thank you. Before starting to my essay, I would like to convey my sincere gratitude to my respected judges. And but uh, but entering to my uh, point of the discussion, I would like to explain what the word creativity actually is. So creativity basically comes from a cognition, or we can say that creativity is the reflection of the human mind and it is obvious the level of creativity differs from one person to another. Their tactics are positive in the relationships between creativity and human consciousness. Human consciousness is the fundamental part of environmental stability. In, in recent days, uh, we can see many cases of uh, Produces creativity which is linked to environmental sustainability. I will discuss a very few of them respectively. The first one is paper pen. The paper pen is now used uh, widely, which is also the source of ink as well as eco printing. This type of pen uh, contains a seed so that uh, after disposal, uh, a, a new plant will grow. If we use paper pen, uh, then it, it will have high possibilities to grow a new plants day by day. The next one is soil gel. In recent times, especially in the events of um, marriage ceremony or um, birthday parties and all, uh, people are preferring uh, soil plates or uh, marble plates in instead of uh, the plastic of fiber plates. The another one is paper bags. The creativity is now implementing in commercial purposes also, especially in the shopping malls, restaurants, and urban cafeterias. The paper bag is using instead of your plastic bags. Recycling the wasted materials. Recently, room decoration products are making from wasted materials. Those uh, never escape. But what is alarming is that the, the people are using the power of creativity is uh, in a very less amount like a drop in, in a ocean. Yeah, history has proven that uh, creativity created the world. So uh, if we really want to create a new world, we have to be creative and also make our society dominant creative. Thank you. Present over here, I am Sneha Sigdar and today I am going to present on the topic Creativity Feed Pandemic, the evolving of COVID-19 into an art. So, uh, let's start with the next slide. These are the agendas that I am going to talk about today. So, if you are a fine artist, a writer, a photographer or a designer, at some point of life, you have heard this, that you are a very creative person, right? Or maybe your piece of work had been praised and tagged many a times as creative. But what exactly is creativity? Creativity is our imagination, something that doesn't really exist already. You have to find out how you can bring it into being. So being creative means to produce 
something unique with a unique perspective with your talent and skills. So next up I would be going to discuss about what was the impact of pandemic on creativity, particularly COVID-19. Now COVID-19 made its appearance in 2019. In March 2020, the World Health Organization declared the COVID-19 outbreak as pandemic and life changed for all of us. Our daily lifestyle, our daily physical activities, our food habits, everything changed. So the emergence of COVID-19 not only brought an economic and social disruption, but hundreds and thousands of people died due to the virus. And the ones who survived were totally devastated and broken. But uh, the question is, had it really created only negative effects? No positive effects? No. It definitely had created some positive effects which are really unique in itself. So we are going to talk about those positive events in the rest of my presentation. So creativity in the field of marketing. Now when we talk about marketing, we all know that advertisement is a crucial part of marketing. Right? <clears throat> so now we all know that what is the motto of advertisement? The company uses this technique of advertising to promote their goods and services. But when the pandemic hit the world, the motto or the concept that we know about advertising changed. Because many of the companies now uh, during the COVID started to produce advertisements to connect with the people suffering out there in the world fighting with COVID. As we can see here, some of the big companies like Coca-Cola have made huge efforts to bring a little relief in the life of people by spreading uh, kind messages through advertisements with the hashtag clap because we care. Some other companies like Lifeboy have rather more focused on spreading awareness through advertisements using sanitizers, masks and all. Next comes COVID-19 doors for a happy mood and a high energy level. So, when the pandemic hit the world, food became, people became more focused with what we are eating. Right? Because they wanted to lead a healthy life. So, uh, among all the global efforts going on to bring life relief to the lives of the people, our world's bakers and chefs started uh, to give efforts and much efforts to produce something unique, something new to bring smiles in the faces of the gloomy people suffering out there. <clears throat> so, um, this is Corona Burger from Vietnam. Okay, uh, it's shaped like a COVID virus. Um, and as Dr. Uh, sorry, yeah. So, as uh, Huang Tang said that what we fear, we should eat it. He said it that what we fear, we should eat it. So, uh, food in that sense has helped us a lot to bring a little relief. So, our bakers and chefs started making COVID related eateries, COVID themed foods to make it a little spicy, to make it a little unique in its own way, which definitely had helped a lot of us and brought smiles to many of the faces. So from Corona Burger in Vietnam to Kolkata's Corona Sandesh, we all get to see that eateries became unique and creative in its own way. Creative way of dressing. We all love to dress ourselves. Like I am wearing a formal dress up. I am making a formal dress up. Ria is something, wearing something really traditional. So we love to dress up, right? So during, yes, our NC ma'am and AC ma'am and all our SDM ma'am artists are love to dress up and in the occasion mostly. So yeah, so during this COVID, when all the industries almost stopped running, the textile and fashion industry decided not to stop here. They decided to continue being creative with their creative designers and they made the coronavirus the theme itself. <laughs> On this context, um, one of the Malak fashion designer August Ananda said that the initial purpose to make such COVID-19 themed fashion designs were 
to pro encourage people to be continue being creative even though they are they have to stay at the home during the pandemic. So uh, yeah, next slide. Now uh, not only dresses but the fabrics get also unique. A, a company in Dhananyar had made fabrics related to the COVID-19. As you can see in the first picture. As you can see, the first picture is a padlock pattern representing the lockdown effects. And in the second picture, it's a, pic, it's a fabric with flight pattern shown all over. Because at the lockdown time, flights were stopped. So this is how they made the, not only the dresses, but the fabrics too, very unique and creative. Next, memes and video contents. A comic relief during the pandemic. Uh, <clears throat> so when the world was locked indoors and life came to a sudden halt, all our physical activities, walking, jogging, meeting with friends, party, all got replaced with social media activities such as virtual fitness classes, online classes and continuously browsing news feeds, video chats, etc. etc. And it is not new that during the pandemic, the social media websites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp and other apps like YouTube had such high than routine. Why? Because this social media had encouraged people to smile even during the hard times going on. So yes. So these are some of the memes created during the pandemic and uh, Dr. Lakshmi TK, a psychiatrist, said in this context that topical memes on grim subject can have the ability to create a sense of humor even if momentarily. She also added in this context that COVID related funny memes can help reduce fear, stress and anxiety. Next up, as we can see, there are some screenshots from YouTube videos. So some of the biggest YouTube creators like Ashish Chanchlani from Ashish Chanchlani Vines, Bhuvan Bam from Vidiki Vines and even Bengal, uh, Bengali creators like Wonder Munna, The Bomb Guy and Mirchi Bangla have created several and several video contents related to the life during lockdown but with a more comical approach. Which, which, which has created a sense of belonging among the people around us. They have felt that it, it is not, uh, we are not alone in this. We, everyone are facing the same problem all around the world. So next comes a common thing, without which creativity is nothing. That is the art of pandemic. Be it music, visual arts, or food, culture and arts are inseparable and sometimes we almost correlate creativity with art. Art without creativity is nothing, impossible and art is the outcome of creativity. So during the pandemic when mind was frustrated, devastated, some people used these moods to create something really unique in itself. Paintings depicting coronavirus. The painters and artists depicted their own perspective of what the virus is for them through different types of paintings. Here are some of the digital arts that have been uh, made by one of, uh, one of the famous artists. And, and one another unique thing was a coronavirus in Durga Bujo in Kolkata. Where, where the main motto of the committee was to say that this coronavirus will be killed by the incoming, uh, by the <coughs> occurrence of Madhurga. So now I would like to conclude with a message, with a little message that creativity is so vast a concept that one can never put it in a few lines to understand the whole thing. Creativity is imagination. Creativity can appear in any form and in any field, career, hobbies, work and etc. etc. But the 
main thing to bring out the creativity from within yourself is self confidence the confidence you have on yourself like if you are afraid of something draw it present it you know all uh, some uh, th- some of our professors always say that when you uh, when you are having mood swings when you are sad write it you know it will help a lot so like this when you have the confidence to present it and express it in the, to the world you will know that creativity will occur in itself you don't have to force it so i would now end my presentation with a quote from silvia plot silvia plot said and i quote that the most enemy to creativity is self doubt thank you for your patience with me and have a nice day so today i will be presenting on the topic creativity in the face of global pandemic and without much delay i will start my presentation so these are my agendas for today and i will be saying on this topic i will be introducing some of these topics so at first i would like to say i would like to talk about creativity now what is creativity i remember a quote from rabindranath tagore ami apolo monero madhuri mishaye tomane korechi rachona this is what actually creativity is this is one of my favorite quotes on creativity you know there is always some room for improvisation as shotajit rai says creativity is actually the potential to give birth to something that has not been born before it is your own it is your own creation it is what brings out your inner most self i i remember like when uh, when we got admitted in first semester and sonnets were taught our nc ma'am told us to write our own sonnets and that was the first creative work which i did in college and she said that let like, pour out your inner pain pour out what your heart desires and i remember i wrote a sonnet and and seriously and that was an amazing experience so even we know that in the in the global pandemic like almost all of us try to write poems like try to make some new dance choreographies we like uh, we wrote new songs and what not we did everything to like to engage ourselves to distract ourselves from the impending gloom the danger the sadness the in the sadness for loss for pain for isolation all the things so so as you see this is this slide depicts the crisis and for my topic is the crisis the crisis is the covid-19 pandemic which we all had to endure in just two years back only you know all the schools the colleges all the work offices everything was closed and we were like isolated in our homes but did that stop us from being creative no never it can never be stopped crisis is quite common in to jump out of it to swim against the current to reach the shore is what counts the pandemic might have come as an unpleasant surprise for which none of us are prepared and it drove many of us to despair depression and during it, this time it can be said that creative potential and innovation were acted somewhat somewhat as our savior emotional captivity is actually worse it has worse side effects because it has severe consequences on our mental health and being engaged in creative activities was a respite as well as escape from the conditions the people had to fight with and hence came forth pandemic art a genre different from the others and yet the most related one creativity and its quandary and in this slide i will mostly present about the music industry and how it helped us during con- pandemic it's true that when we stop denying our pain and prepare ourselves to face it we come out stronger and steadier and when our pain is expressed in art in music in the literature the whole process becomes cathartic we know as i was saying the process is cathartic 
and and here you can see as I was saying the music industry it contributed magnanimously for this purpose during the COVID-19 pandemic. Artists began writing lyrics whose ideas conform with the then existing conditions of human life. You know, she is a quite a fam famous American singer. She wrote a song called Epiphany and it was to pay tribute to the health workers, the doctors, the nurses who were working endlessly for our well-being during the pandemic. I would like to quote the line from the song, With you I serve and with you I fall down. What you bring in or what you breathing out. This, this, this very line draws the essence of the whole pandemic, the whole situation. She wanted to she wanted to tell them, she wanted to give her message that they are not alone. We all are in this together and we are bulletproof and we never walk alone. We would fight against this and we would come out stronger and wiser. So here are the songs, as I was saying. These are some posters. I wish I could have included the songs, but still this is the presentation. depicting imprisonment, despair, pain, loss, suffering, isolation, endurance, prayers for remedy, and world peace became very common aspects. Artworks portraying hospitals, doctors, nurses, patients, medicines, the toxic therapy situation where people were locked in homes and could only connect digitally. And see, like, these are like few of my favorite art forms, like the Natural Art by Angela Arajio, the Embroidered Heart by Judy Shade. She is a medical student and since, and hence she created something which, which is like related to the medical field. And here you can see the artworks personally. I collected them from the internet. These are my favorite artworks. And you can see it's a digital artwork. It's also a beautiful one presenting both the then existing situation during the lockdown. So for conclusion, I would like to say that even in the state of quandary, the people made most out of the situation. The pandemic was the worst of times but also the best of times. Many learned new skills and rediscovered themselves. Novels like Our Country Friends by Gary Schrodinger, in which eight friends fell locked down in a house upstate New York, some of the last novel portrayed by Alice Smith and Louis C. Edwards, the last sentence which is haunted by both illness and ghost, became popular novels during the pandemic. And as Neha said before me, there were like even uh, some innovative food items made like Corona Burger and then also I would like to say about the bomb guy who made a lockdown song and people jammed into it, they danced in the streets. It's, you know, it's just, it's, it's not just a form of entertainment, but it's also, it also provided respite, it also provided hope, it brought us to hope, it brought us courage, it, it taught us that we are fighters, we are not quitters, and we would really pass through the situation, like bad days have come before also, and they would come later in our lives, but it's our zeal to fight the crisis and come out stronger is what counts, and and thus, even though the pandemic took away a lot of things from us, it also provided, it also blessed us with a lot of things. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, I can hear your whispers. Yes, you're right. And since they are my favorite boy band, I included them. Okay. Now dance. Dance has always been a powerful form of expression for different thoughts and ideas. And in pandemic, it became even more influential. Doctors, nurses, other healthcare workers started performing for the patients admitted in the hospitals to cheer them up, to let them know that they are not alone. They are not, even if they are living in isolation, we are all in this together. We are mentally connected, we are spiritually involved with each other because the crisis is one, our zeal is one, and, and we would overcome it. We would, we would eventually gather the strength, we would eventually find the vaccines, find the remedy. Maybe there are some scars which would take a lot of time to heal and some which would never heal. But 
but still we would get something better out of them. We would come out stronger, we would emerge victorious. And here, and here this, uh, this is uh, from the MV Permission to Dance by BTS. Uh, I included this because uh, this has a, a very special choreography. They like to use sign languages as the choreography moves because they wanted the auditor and the impaired people to feel included. Those who cannot hear, those who cannot speak, they, even they have the right to feel included. They have the right to feel like they are a part of the community in the pandemic.
সাপোর্ট হই শুধু আজকে নয় আজকে নয় আজকে আজকে মানে আজকে মানে আজকে মানে পূজা ভ্যাকেশন আজকে মানে গতকাল ছিল ছট পুজোর ছুটি পুজো ভ্যাকেশনের মাঝখানে আর কালকে থেকে শুরু হয়ে যাচ্ছে জগদ্ধাত্রী পুজো তার মাঝখানের একটা দিনে সকল স্যার বোলপুর থেকে এসেছেন আমাদের পাশে দাঁড়াবার জন্য এবং উনি প্যান্ডেমিক এমন হ্যান কোনো প্রোগ্রাম নেই যেখানে উনি থাকেন উনি থাকেন ইন্সপায়ার করেন ফেমিনিজম হোক হোয়াট এভার বি দ্য সাবজেক্ট একটা খুব মিনিংফুল কন্টেন্ট ডেলিভার করেন থ্যাংক ইউ স্বপন দা আর অফকোর্স আমাদের অনারেবল চেয়ারপারসনদের আমি ধন্যবাদ জানাবো ইট ওয়াজ আ ভেরি ডিফিকাল্ট সিচুয়েশন আ ভেরি টাফ টাইম ওনাদের ক্যালকুলেশন এবং কে ওই যে বাইরে গিয়ে মিটিং হচ্ছিল তোমার আমার মানে এবং এখানে যে গান হচ্ছিল এই পুরোটা ওর পেছনে এবং তার সাথে ওনারা যেভাবে সেন্সিটিভলি ইভ্যালুয়েট করেছেন ইভ্যালুয়েশন প্রসেস শেষ হচ্ছে না এক টেবিল থেকে আবার বাইরে গিয়ে ফার্দার আরও অ্যানালাইজ করা সো কুডোস টু দেম এবং সব থেকে শেষে ছাত্রদের ছাত্রদেরকে আমি দুভাবে দু ভাগে ধন্যবাদ দিতে চাই প্রথম ভাগ হচ্ছে যারা প্রেজেন্টার্স এই যে তোমরা স্টেজটা পেলে এস ডি এম ম্যাম বারবার বলছিলেন উনি পাননি আমিও পাইনি পাবো কোথা থেকে আমরা বাঁচতে চাইছি আমরা ভালো থাকতে চাইছি আমরা সারভাইভ করে গেছি এবং আমরা কি তৈরি করেছি কি অসাধারণ প্রেজেন্টেশন এখানে প্রত্যেকে যারা ভেন্টিলেট করেছো দে ওয়ার অ্যাকচুয়ালি এক্সপ্রেসিং দেয়ার হার্ট এবং তোমরা জানো না প্রেজেন্টার্সরা তোমরা কি বীজ রোপণ করে গেলে তোমরা আজকে জানো না ওই যে লাস্ট বেঞ্চে প্রত্যেকটা ফার্স্ট ইয়ার যখন এখানে এসে তোমরা এই প্রাইজ নিচ্ছ বা প্রেজেন্ট করছো সবাই বলছে পরের বার আমরা আছি আমি কিন্তু শুনতে পেয়েছি তোমাদের ফিসফিসানিগুলো তোমরা বীজ রোপণ করে গেলে থাকবে ফাইবার্স লাইক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ অ্যান্ড ফাইনালি দ্য লিসনার্স এরকম লিসনার স্বপন দা কখনো দেখেছ আজকাল এত রেসলেস একটা ব্যাচ হয়ে গেছে কথায় কথায় তাদের মোবাইল থেকে শুরু করে এভরি টাইম দে আর স্ক্রোলিং এভরি টাইম দে ফ্রেন্ডস আর কামিং বাট লুক অ্যাট দেন আজকে শুধু তোমরা শুনতে এসেছো কোন সেমিনারে গিয়ে আমি শ্রোতা পাইনি আমরা বলার মাঝখানে সবাই শুরু করে যায় ঘোরাঘুরি করা রেসলেস হয়ে যায় স্টেজে উঠছি না প্রাইজ নেবো না আমরা কি আজকে তোমরা কোনো অ্যাটেন্ডেন্সের ভয়ও দেখাইনি আমরা কোনো রকম ভয়নি কিন্তু কোনো কাম্পালসারি বলে এরকম করে কিছু অফিসিয়াল কিচ্ছু আমরা বলিনি তাহলে পানিশমেন্ট হবে হবে কি তাও এসেছ প্রোগ্রাম এগারোটায় শুরু হয়েছে এখন অবধি বসে আছো থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ দিস প্রোগ্রাম উড নট হ্যাভ বিন সাকসেস উড উইদাউট ইউ দ্য লিসনার্স থ্যাংক ইউ ওয়াজ দ্য গেট আই হোপ ইউ ক্যান ফিল হাউ রিভিলেজ ইউ আর বিকজ ওয়েন আই ওয়াজ আ স্টুডেন্ট ইউ জি অর পি জি আই ডিড নট গেট সাচ আ প্ল্যাটফর্ম আই ডিড নট গেট সাচ অ্যান অপরচুনিটি অ্যান্ড লুক you you have this platform and many of you you have used this well very well good presentation and i am proud of you we all are proud of you okay thank you ma'am now i would like to invite our throughout the country and very respected distinguished participants take place but in a college as we know it is predominantly for the students that a college exists and that is why a student seminar is something which sets a student uh, her or him up in the path of life and so a student seminar gradually uh, helps a student to gain a foothold in life and that is what we hope we have been able to achieve during this seminar and as we have seen <clears throat> how students have come up with innovative ideas how they have uh, given expression to the very fact that uh, not only in times of the uh, times of peace or joy but even more in times of 
crisis, uh, in time in disease, in the times of disease, in pandemic, how people throughout the ages, starting from uh, medieval times, the times of Shakespeare, the time of Defoe, to the, when there have been uh, plagues and black deaths, to the modern times when we have all been engulfed in a pandemic, they have given uh, rise to multiple creative ideas, not only in the field of literature, but also in the field of fine arts, fashion, dance, music, etc. And this has been very heartening to see students uh, expressing their own ideas, even if some of them have been very nervous, it is expected, and that is what they will be sort of amending in their next, uh, when the next uh, student seminar takes place. And as uh, the head of the department, uh, Professor Anitya Chatterjee had said that other students, the junior students, should be picking up the thread from this seminar and which uh, continue the tradition of the English department in arranging student seminar. So we had a very fruitful session and thank you particularly everyone, distinguished guests, speakers, participants and particularly the students for turning up not only large numbers to present papers but also to listen and share their ideas which I am sure will give them a sort of fermentation in their minds to think about it, think about this topic and to enrich uh, their uh, everyday discourses and classes also, the teaching learning process, uh, uh, the student seminar will be a small step in that enrichment. Thank you. First, the consolation prizes. Shoheli, Shoheli Chakraborty, English program, Shoheli Chakraborty, The next consolation prize goes to Shukona The next consolation prize, Shreya Bhakti.
Successful, sir. Puri dunya se kaho copy that. Shabashina.